All right, Ronald, let me know what you think about this, buddy. This is a, I got a cat, and uh, this is the the dry litter that comes in it. I cleaned it out, but it's got a lid and a nice handle. It's pretty strong. I washed it out. You can use this for a cooler. Or you could use that one. That's a real cooler. <laughs> no, <laughs> I didn't even see it. The lady friend that I know, her name's Dale. Uh-huh. She found out I was back. And she come over here and she said, what do you need? I said, well, I can use a cooler. She said, okay, what else? I said, well, I need a couple more pairs of shorts. And, you know, maybe a pillow. She said, okay. I see you in a little while. She left, come back with a cooler, brand new. Brought me cut some more clothes. Uh-huh. And two pillars. Okay. She hooked me up. So you don't think you would need this then, eh? Um, it's just kind of handy. I don't need it at all. Otherwise, it's, I'll, you know what? I, I'd rather leave it with you because you might find somebody that, you know, it's nice and clean and it's got a, the lid seals tight. It's got a good handle, real sturdy, you know, sports lots of weight. You might even be able to just use this as storage for like crackers and stuff so rodents and insects don't right. get. Stay on the other side of the cooler. Right? All right. More than happy yeah. to. So, when you open something here, you eat it or you throw the rest of it away. Yeah. You don't hands all over you. Yeah, because you got that would be a perfect thing for that for them Ritz crackers. I know. I got all kinds of groceries. Okay. You know? Well, that could be a nice little storage place for you. Well, that's what I, I was thinking about. I said, man, put my chips in that. Yeah. You know? Stuff that, the, you know, raccoons and stuff won't get to at night. Oh, yeah. there's a big one here, too. Really? He comes every night and gets in the dumpster. Yeah. I mean, he's big. Did you kick his ass? Hell no, he <laughs> He'll climb me like a tree. All right, I'll tell you what. Looks like you got that bike back that had the flat. No, it ain't the same bike. Okay. That belongs to Jay. Okay. Well. Oh, he was riding it. He bought it from Allen. And he was coming back from up from Walmart way. And then they said, I know it's him get off of it. He looked down and then he started walking. I said, he got a flat. Sure enough, he come up and said, I can't believe it. I can't keep a bike, man. I got a flat. I said, look, Jay. All you got to do, buy you a, a patch kit. I got a pat. I, I got some patches right now. I said. My friend Loretta sent some. Oh, well, I need some. You I'll need some, some patches? I'll All fix right. it for him. I know how to do well, it. Well, he's sitting right over here. I just saw him. Yeah. Well, he said that he didn't know how to fix one. He never worked on a bike. Really? He's only, this is the only second bike he ever had ever since he was a kid. All right. And I said, well, I can fix it. You get the patches. Let me dig I that up for you. The guys has got a pump. Yeah, I got a pump. I said, look, nothing else. You go over at the damn car wash and tell Papa you need tired up. Yeah. Papa will pay for it. Huh? Papa is one of him runs the uh, car wash. Okay. They real good people. That Spanish guy? Yeah. Okay. I know them ever since they opened the place. All right. Let me dig those patches up, and I got the tools where you can peel the tire back and you lock it to the spokes. That way, you don't need four hands. Yeah. You know, because this is a glueless patch. You don't need glue or anything. You just peel and stick it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I got you. And uh, you just clean it off good. Yeah. And you peel and stick it and let it set for a minute. Sure. And then yeah. the pressure of it, you know, against the tire keeps it sealed. Yeah. You know, once it it's inflated. Pushed up yeah. Yeah. That's, you know. Yeah, I've seen them. They work, too. I yeah, mean, it's a lot easier to do that than change the tube, especially, uh, you know, you know the tube size but uh, let me get you a patch and I got the tools that you can use you know there's a, a two-piece you, you lock it into yeah, the tire I know, I know how you know, you, okay I rode a mountain bike for years all right let me just get it for you make it easy let me get these separated okay all right Ronald so you're familiar with these obviously oh yeah all right so there's you know two of those now here's the story Here's that little piece of sandpaper that you'll use to clean it off. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's three patches here, pre-glued, one, two, three. They're clear, so they're kind of hard to see. Right. But uh, you got a safe spot for those? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that should get you guys on the road. Right. We'll get him on the road anyway. Because he, he used that probably ride to work, eh? Yeah, he's riding his skateboard now. Yeah? Yeah, but when he got that bike, he was tickled to death. Well, there you go. And he got the bike. It's a nice little bike. 20 bucks? 20 bucks. Huh? All right. That bike I had, that's the rims and tires that was on it. Okay. They put them new tires and rims on I said, CJ, you could have had the tire fixed 
and the one I had had brakes and shit. Yeah. That thing got no brakes at all. Oh, I'm used to not having brakes. That's it. Well, yeah. <laughs> you gonna find out riding a bicycle a lot different than in a skateboard. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can jump off the skateboard. You yeah. got you got to keep a patches with you. You got to have your own little pump. So you break down. You take the tire off. Yeah, you you be take the tube out, patch it, put it back on, pump it right back up, strap you pump it back on your bike, you go. Be your mobile fix it and, unit. And he go, yeah, he go. Why don't I do that? I said, well, I'll do. It. You get the patches. I'll show you how to do. It. All right. Well, here's the deal then. Obviously, that should only require one, providing there's not more than one hole. But uh, you'll have a couple extra. Right. You know, well, for I mean, you gonna have flat. Oh yeah, yeah. That's part uh, of riding a bike out here. Yeah. No, I get flats all the time. No, I get yeah. flats all the time. You yeah. know, when I was riding a bike. I've had two in the last three months. Same tire. I'm like what the hell? But uh, all right. How you doing, man? You need some cold water? I got a cooler for you. Yeah. Yeah. Cold water. You got an electrolyte pack? You want one? No, I'm good. You're good? All right. Yep. Yeah, chilling in the shade. All right, hey, I'm going to swing by and uh, talk to Jay. He's sitting over there on the curb, and I'll let him know that I gave you guys a little patch kit thing. All That's right. nice right there. And uh, I'll have him come over and tell him, you know, give him instructions. Tell him to get his bike fixed. That way he can ride it to work and, you know. Yeah, I got things to keep shut. Things put up and dry. All right. You know, I, I keep things put up. Yeah, no doubt. No I keep doubt. things ordered. Oh, yeah, you got a case of water over there. Yep. Good for you, man. I got all kinds of groceries. All right. All right. Cool beans. All right, good deal, sir. Well, I thought you could use that bucket one way or the other, you know. Yeah, I can use it. But it's nice and clean, and it's got to, you know, it's going to be protected from animals, rodents, insects. Yeah. You know, that's the main thing. When you're around dumpsters, there's rats everywhere. Yeah, rats and raccoons and squirrels and uh, other varmin. Now the squirrels, they can get in that thing. Yeah, they'll, 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 they'll figure a way. It. Yeah. They'll chew hold to it. They don't care. Yeah. They're and relentless. The raccoon, I know for a fact a raccoon can open my cooler. Yeah. Well, they're pretty smart. They but uh, they'll make so much noise, hopefully it'll wake you up and you can shoo them away. Yeah. No, he ain't come. He ain't, he ain't, he's walked over just, you know, a few yeah. feet. And he stood up on his iron leg and he sat there and looked at it. Hey, he's just hanging out. And I said, what are you doing, bandit? <laughs> he was scoping out the he's place. Like, hmm, okay. Turned around, went back, jumped back in the dumpster. Prowled around, come out of the dumpster, and he went back up. And he was, uh, you were under surveillance for his plan. Yeah, he was watching me. Yeah, he's going to write up a, a game plan with his with his criminal buddies. Yeah, I'm going to have to draw this out. <laughs> yeah, we got to figure well, we this can, out. We can get us a plan. All uh, right, yeah. I'll jump on his head while you get the cooler. Yeah. No, I watch, uh, I watch raccoon open the cooler, grab a whole pack of bologna, and he was gone. Yeah. And they don't mess around. And Johnny's like, "Did that really happen, Rue?" Really? I said, "That really happened, Johnny." I'll tell you this: I went camping he didn't one know time. Damn cooler! I said, "I told you they're smart because it had a latch on it." Yeah. That raccoon kept fooling around, and he finally figured the latch out, raised the cooler up, grabbed the bologna, and took off. My girlfriend and I, about 20 years ago, we went camping in Illinois. We were going to uh, one of the theme parks a long time ago when we were in college. And uh, we got a tent and we went to a campground and it was all official. And they said, be careful, don't leave food out for the record. And I was like, all right, well, we got it. It's in the tent and it's in the cooler. We're safe. We come back. Everything in the cooler was taken out all over the place. Bread loaves ripped open. Uh, <laughs> You know, uh, bologna packs opened up, potato chips opened, just garbage everywhere. They had a field day. There must have been a hundred of them. <laughs> and they're you know. real, buddy. But we, the are real. All, all we could really do is laugh. Well, you know. He had one for a pet. No he way. He raised ever since a little baby. Really? I mean, it would mind him and everything. Well, that's and, cool. Uh, he had a poker game. Well, poker game busted up. He's sitting down on the couch. He had all kind of money, you know. You know. Sure. And uh, he passed out. No. But he didn't put the raccoon up. The raccoon destroyed his house. Uh oh. And all that money he had laying on the table was over three thousand something dollars. Chewed it up. Tore it all to pieces. Dirty money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, in the cabinets, he went all through the cabinets. 
took all kind of shit out of the refrigerator. I think they they like watch. You said he yeah. was opening and shit. Yeah, they they learn. Say, okay, that's how the human does it. I'm gonna try that next time. I'm gonna use my paw here. They're pretty crafty individuals, I'll tell you that. Well, they got hands like we do. Yeah. Oh they yeah, for sure. Balls, you look at them, they're hands. Oh yeah, they're they're. They got four fingers. They're smart animals. Stone. Yeah. They're survivors, hey, hey, no doubt. I watched my buddy. I watched his. He get a jar of mayonnaise. Open it right up, just like I would. Really? And I'm like, you kidding me? He's watching. Stick his finger in there. You got teacher, teacher raccoon. He He loves mayonnaise. Do you remember the old uh, Stroh's commercial with the dog Alex? When the owner of the dog would say, Alex, two cold Stroh's. And he'd go open the fridge and take out two beers out of the fridge or bring it to his, him and his buddy. Oh, that's the greatest thing. You know, Alex, two cold Stroh's. I remember yeah. that now. Yeah. yeah. It's and still. He'd go to the and get him beer. Yeah. Come back and that guy's like, For real? <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, he does it all the time. <laughs> But uh, no, you teach an animal, you know, they, they watch, they observe. Yeah. Well, like a dog now, if you spend time with it like you would your child, you'll be amazed how smart you can make that dog. Yeah. You can teach it to do anything. They're underestimated. Hey, my bulldog, I said, open the door. The bulldog go over and open that front door. Yeah. And I tell him, shove it open. He'd shove it open. And I had a five gallon bucket. I kept, you know, miscellaneous nails in. Mm -hmm. He'd take his nose and shove it in front of the bucket door where it couldn't blow back shut. Really? And they're going. Like yeah. blocking the door. I said, how'd you do that? I tell him, watch me when he's a pup. I said, watch daddy. Door, bucket. Huh. Got it? And I do that all the time. That is cool. And then I started going, open the door. Open the door. He, <laughs> push, he, he finally looked up at the door handle. And they had one of them just to handle. Sure. He reached up and pulled down on the door. Open. My, I had a he dog that door used open. to do that all the time. And he went over there and pushed the buck after the guy. With that <laughs> lever style door, he used to do that all the time. Yeah. And then we were like, hmm, we had to maybe start hitting the little lock button on there. Because yeah, he would get out on his own. I can't believe that dog would pop that fucking door open. <laughs> hey, you got to take time with him, man. Yeah. You teach him like you would your child. Number one on Bulldog, don't not strike him. If you hit that dog cause you mad, cause he did something he shouldn't have done, uh -huh. you inflict pain on him. Then when he gets mad, first thing he thinks, I'm gonna eat your ass up. That's what he thinks he ought to do. Yeah. You scold him. Retaliatory. You yeah. treat him like a child, you scold him. Yeah. I put, put him in time out. In, I put mine in his kennel. I yeah. wouldn't let him out. No. Nope. Little time out for him. And then when I let him out, I go, I show him his mess. I go, you remember that? He dropped his head. Yeah. Go outside. He go outside, and then I clean it up. I yeah. leave it until outside and let him out. Yeah, you get the torn up pillow or the big dump on the floor. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, those are always fun. But well, I didn't have no problem with him. But when he's a pup a couple times. Sure. Know. Well, yeah, that's going to happen. But I stick his nose to it. I put him outside, and I go, there we go back from Yeah. He go down the step. He go do his business. He come back up the step. My dog's real good to let me know. He'll stand by the door and just, he'll start bumping it. And I can hear it in the house. He'll bump it with the sed, you know. Like, yeah. knock, knock. Don't yeah, 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 yeah. I want out instead of in. And I'll walk in and he'll start go. getting excited. So I'm like, he runs out, immediately takes care of business, comes back. You know, yeah, all right. going to go to the bathroom, Dad. So like, that's all. I said, no big deal. You got a toilet, you know. <laughs> right. I ain't got no toilet here. All right, I'm going to go talk to Jay real quick. I'm going to send him over here and I'm going to tell him that you got a project for him. Get him, show him how to, you know, basically the uh, teach a man how to fish. He can eat forever. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you can uh, show the man That's something. I told him you're going to learn on how to work on bikes if you're going to ride one. Okay. Because you ain't going to have somebody there to help you every time something happens. All right. You know? Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. And you can't ride it on the flat. You'll bend the rim and everything else. Oh, you screw everything up. Tire, yeah. Tire, T. Not to mention, and uh, you rent the rim. so you gotta have a whole new rim. Oh, yeah, so now you're talking, you know, you compounded the problem, you know, five times. Yeah, you, you just added to the bad, sure. All right, let me go tell him real quick. And, uh, I, I'm looking for a guy, I got a Bible for him. His Bible got stolen. His name is Eddie. Do you need a Bible? Hey, no, I got one. Okay, I'm getting beat up. <laughs> These branches are yeah, kicking my ass. Going. Yeah, I'm well, that's good. 
Yeah, that's good. You can. Really good. All right. I'll tell you what. I'll let you get to it. Yeah, get stash that food. And uh, I'm going to let him know, and he'll probably be over here in a few minutes, maybe. Yeah. And uh, if he's still there, who knows? He might be over okay. yeah, here. Well, I mean, I he might be in McDonald's by now with his phone. I think he said he works 4 to 11. 4 to 11 tonight? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll go see if he's there. If they not. I'm to give him more hours. Good. I told him, talk to D-Boss. Tell him, you know, tell him your situation. You like working here, but you, you got to have more hours. Yeah, you got to save some and money to try to get an apartment. Him, yeah. Now they're starting to give him more hours. Good. I'm not good. There you go. What's he up to? I mean, you, 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 he's up to $11 an hour. But I mean, as far as like hours a week, I don't know. Is he at thirty or so? I don't know. No. Okay. No I big deal. Know. Hey, <laughs> he's working. Give him that. Hey, at least yeah. he's trying. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he, I'm, he's I'm young yet. He ain't, he ain't on that dope. That's uh, that's that's massively a bonus. You got that right. Yeah, kick him in his ass if you if you catch him. You know. All right, let me go talk to him and I'll see what's going on. Uh, Good to bro. see you again, buddy. You too, All right, bro. fantastic. All right, I just thought I dropped that off for you. You know, about the best thing I, you know, that I could find as far as. That's fine. I mean, I can put as much chips and stuff in there. Yeah. Like and that way you don't got to so, worry about it trying to put it in the wet cooler and get it soaked. Yeah, I can't do that. No, no. Dry them. Yep, so just, you know, they get old dry and, uh, and they ain't worth the crap. No, they're nasty. Yeah. You got that right. All right. Good deal. All right. I'll come by and check on you soon. All right, man. All right. Take it easy. All right, man. I'll see you. You're welcome, sir. Jay. Rue needs you. I got you some patches for your bike. For your bike tire. You can get it fixed. He wants to show you what, what to do.